at the command of Yahweh, Yehoshua and the children of Yisrael devoted to destruction Archan, the one who stole of the devoted thing of Yericho. Yehoshua chapter 8 And Yahweh said to Yehoshua, Fear not, neither be thou dismayed. Take all the people of war with thee, and arise, go up to the Rai. See, I have given into thy hand the king of the Rai, and his people, and his city, and his land. And thou shalt do to the Rai and her king, as thou didst to Yericho and her king. Only the spoil thereof, and the cattle thereof, shall ye take for a prey to yourselves. Set thee an ambush for the city behind it. So Yehoshua arose, and all the people of war, to go up to the Rai. And Yehoshua chose out thirty thousand men, the mighty men of valor, and sent them forth by night. And he commanded them, saying, Behold, ye be one's being in ambush toward the city, behind the city. Go not very far from the city, but be ye all ready. And I, and all the people that are with me, will approach to the city, and it shall become, when they come out against us as at the first, that we will flee before them and they will come out after us, till we have drawn them away from the city, for they will say, They flee before us, as at the first. So we will flee before them, and ye shall rise up from the ambush, and take possession of the city, for Yahweh your God will deliver it into your hand, and it shall be, when ye have seized upon the city, that ye shall set the city on fire, according to the word of Yahweh shall ye do. See, I have commanded you. And Yehoshua sent them forth, and they went to the ambushment, and abode between Baithel and the Rai, on the west side of the Rai, but Yehoshua lodged that night among the people. And Yehoshua arose up early in the morning, and mustered the people, and went up, he and the elders of Yisrael, before the people to the Rai. And all the people, even the men of war that were with him, went up, and drew near, and came before the city, and encamped on the north side of the Rai. Now there was a valley between him and the Rai. And he took about five thousand men, and set them in ambush between Baithel and the Rai, on the west side of the city. So they set the people, even all the host that was on the north of the city, and their ambushes that were on the west of the city. And Yehoshua went that night into the midst of the valley. And it was when the king of the Rai saw it, that they hasted and rose up early, and the men of the city went out against Yisrael to battle, he and all his people, at the time appointed, before the Arabah. But he knew not that there was an ambush against him behind the city. And Yehoshua and all Yisrael made as if they were beaten before them, and fled by the way of the wilderness. And all the people that were in the city were called together to pursue after them, and they pursued after Yehoshua, and were drawn away from the city. And there was not a man left in the Rai or Baithael that went not out after Yisrael. And they left the city open and pursued after Yisrael. And Yahweh said to Yehoshua, Stretch out the javelin that is in thy hand. 
toward the Rai, for I will give it into thy hand. And Yehoshua stretched out the javelin that was in his hand toward the city. And the ambush arose quickly out of their place, and they ran as soon as he had stretched out his hand, and entered into the city and took it, and they hasted and set the city on fire. And when the men of the Rai looked behind them, they saw, and behold, the smoke of the city ascended up to the skies, and they had no power to flee this way or that way. And the people that fled to the wilderness turned back upon the pursuers. And when Yehoshua and all Yisrael saw that the ambush had taken the city and that the smoke of the city ascended, then they turned again and slew the men of the Rai. And the others came forth out of the city against them, so they were in the midst of Yisrael, some on this side and some on that side, and they smote them, so that they let none of them remain or escape. And the king of the Rai they took alive and brought him to Yehoshua, and it was when Yisrael had made an end of slaying all the inhabitants of the Rai in the field, in the wilderness wherein they pursued them, and they were all fallen by the edge of the sword until they were consumed, that all Yisrael returned to the Rai and smote it with the edge of the sword. And all that fell that day, both of men and women, were twelve thousand, even all the men of the Rai. For Yehoshua drew not back his hand, wherewith he stretched out the javelin, until he had devoted all the inhabitants of the Rai. Only the cattle and the spoil of that city Yisrael took for prey to themselves, according to the word of Yahweh, which he commanded Yehoshua. So Yehoshua burnt the Rai and made it a heap for ever, even a desolation to this day. And the king of the Rai he hanged on a tree until the time of the evening, and it was for the time of the coming of the sun, Yehoshua commanded, and they took his body down from the tree, and cast it at the entrance of the gate of the city, and raised thereon a great heap of stones to this day. Then Yehoshua built an altar to Yahweh, the God of Yisrael, in Mount Raibal, as Moshe, the servant of Yahweh, commanded the children of Yisrael, as it is written in the book of the law of Moshe, an altar of unhewn stones, upon which no man had lifted up any iron, and they offered thereon ascending offerings to Yahweh, and sacrificed peace offerings, and he wrote thereupon the stones, a copy of the law of Moshe, which he wrote in the presence of the children of Yisrael, and all Yisrael, and their elders, and officers, and their judges, stood on this side of the ark, and on that side before the priests, the Luiim, that bear the ark of the covenant of Yahweh, as well as the sojourner, as the home-born, half of them in front of Mount Gerizim, and half of them in front of Mount Raival, as more Moshur, the servant of Yahweh, had commanded at the first, that they should bless the people of Yisrael. And afterward he read all the words of this law, the blessing and the curse, according to all that is written in the book of the law. There was not a word of all that Moshur commanded, 
which Yehoshua read not before all the assembly of Yisrael and the women and the little ones and the sojourners that were among them. And it was when all the kings that were beyond the Oradan in the hill country and in the lowland and on the shore of the great sea in front of the Lavanon, the Cheti and the Amorri, the Knaani, the Perezi, the Hawi and the Yabusi heard thereof that they gathered themselves together to fight with Yehoshua and with Yisrael with one accord.